The Ring of Fire, the story of Earth's restless rim. The Ring of Fire is not a mythical legend, but a very real and powerful geographical phenomenon. It is a 25,000 mile, 40,000 kilometer horseshoe shaped belt that loops around the basin of the Pacific Ocean. This ring is the undeniable stage for the planet's most dramatic geological performances. Approximately 90% of the world's earthquakes and 75% of its volcanoes occur along this path. This is not a coincidence. It is the direct and spectacular result of the single most important theory in modern geology, plate tectonics, the engine beneath our feet. The story begins not on the surface, but deep below. The Earth's outer shell, the lithosphere, is not a solid, unbroken eggshell. It is shattered into a dozen major and several minor pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly, imperceptibly moving, drifting at about the speed your fingernails grow. They float on the hot, semi-fluid layer beneath them, the asthenosphere, which churns like a pot of thick soup on a slow boil. This convection is the engine that drives the plates. The ring of fire exists because of the way these plates interact at their boundaries. Specifically, it is defined by a process called subduction, the dance of destruction and creation, subduction. Imagine two massive tectonic plates converging or moving toward each other. One plate, usually a denser oceanic plate, meets a less dense continental plate or another oceanic plate. The denser plate loses the battle and is forced downward, bending and sliding deep into the Earth's mantle. This is subduction. The subducting plate is subjected to immense heat and pressure as it descends. This process has three catastrophic and creative consequences. One, megathrust earthquakes. The plates don't slide past each other smoothly. They get locked together by friction for decades or even centuries. Stress builds and builds until it finally overcomes the friction, causing the plates to lurch violently past each other. This releases centuries of stored energy in minutes, creating the most powerful earthquakes on Earth known as megathrust earthquakes. The 2004 Sumatra Andaman earthquake and subsequent Indian Ocean tsunami and the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami that triggered the Fukushima nuclear disaster are horrific examples of this phenomenon. Tour Volcanic Arcs As the oceanic plate descends, it carries with it water-rich sediments and minerals. At about 6,100 miles, 100-150 km deep, the immense heat and pressure sweat this water out of the plate. This water lowers the melting point of the hot mantle rock above it, causing it to melt and form magma. This magma is less dense than the surrounding rock, so it begins to rise, working its way through the crust like a blister. Eventually, it erupts onto the surface, forming volcanoes. Because this happens in a line parallel to